Well, it is time for us to pack up and head to Lillooet. Uh, we're hoping the roads are going to be okay. A big snowstorm came through the Coquihalla yesterday. Um, and it's supposed to be clear today on Highway 5A, which we take from Princeton to the connector. And then 97C, which is the Okanagan connector. And that goes to Merritt. And then Merritt to Kamloops over the Coquihalla Highway 5. Um, we looked at the cameras, the highway cameras, and they look like they're okay. So hopefully we're fine. Um, I am ragamuffined because we're under the gun. We're getting ready to go. And of course, um, this is always last. Uh, so the trailer's all ready to go. I'm about to pull in the slides. Curtis has everything organized outside. I'll show you what he did in the back of my truck. I'm very, very happy about that. And yeah, the dogs are going to be happy to get into the truck and do a road trip. And I'm happy to go see my daughter and my granddaughter and my son-in-law and my soon-to-be-born granddaughter. So yeah, we're very excited. Hopefully the roads are safe. Fingers crossed. So one of the things we did was purchase one of these universal fit carpet bed liners for the truck. We found that with the rhino lining in there, it was really destructive on our items. I'll show you one of the bags for our chairs that got badly damaged from the rhino lining. So basically you've got that bed liner stuff, which is really like sandpaper. And anything that's moving in there, it will wear out. So we put the bed liner in there with with this diamondback cover too, it works nice when you climb in there with your knees now. You have this carpet which has some foam on it. I'll show you that. It actually works pretty good. It's easy to cut out. Just use an OFA knife and cut it out as I laid it out. It's got a bit of a memory, so it's kind of floating in there right now, but as it kind of flattens out, that memory will get solved. We are trying to pare down to have everything in the back of this truck. So when we head south, Rather than hanging this off the ladder or underneath the unit, we're going to just try to see how it is in the bed of the truck. This stuff here, again, it's kind of a product. It's got some foam and then like a carpet pile in there. So I think it'll be pretty good. It wasn't very expensive. Amazon, of course. But we are trying to get down to one water bin. There's the chairs. Let me show you here some of the wear on the bags. So just from that rhino lining your bed liner it is like sandpaper just from the chairs moving back and forth it's worn holes in the bags and the ones in our big zero gravity chairs those holes are even worse so again pulled everything out but we're trying to make it that everything will fit in this truck period put in this thing what we need to go for heading south we do have our tote back there we got our little fittings for sewer connections our sewer hoses and stuff are going to go in the tube underneath the trailer we have that set up that's going to happen soon and we got the little 2000 watt generator that's going to come south with us fuel chairs the water bin and there's our little laundry wagon on the back end there too so i think it's gonna be pretty good we made it to lillooet kind of well <laughs> to our daughter's place outside of lillooet that's true how were the roads hun oh the roads were good there's a slippery sections up on 5a yeah um, coming out of princeton but um, I just slowed right down for that. The rest of it was wonderful. Yeah, we lucked out. It was really good. Yeah, dry roads pretty much all the way besides that 5A section. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it was nice. Much better than what I was anticipating. Yeah. I thought it might be some white knuckling. I thought you'd be a four, four and a half hour trip. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it was good. So we're here in Lillooet and... We don't have much of a view with the yeah, back window there. Our back window will be getting cleaned tomorrow, first thing, because that's disgusting. Yeah. But we're here. Safe and sound. Safe and, and now sound. we move from, if things stay as planned, we move from here, heading south. Yay! So, yeah, yeah. That would be <laughs> glorious. Much better. <laughs> much better. <laughs> well, we're out for a walk. And the dogs are just loving it. It's cold this morning. It's a little nippy with that wind. But oh my goodness, get a load of this view. Down in that canyon is the Fraser River. Lillooet country is just stunning. It's so rugged. I mean, and they run cattle everywhere on here. Absolutely beautiful.
So this is our afternoon chaos. There's Miss Lottie. And there's Luna and Huxley and Sasha and Blue. And it's pure chaos, especially because of that little blue dog. <laughs> he's just a pup, but he's very, very sweet. What a beautiful day today. Take a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm on site here today. We are pouring concrete. Our last pour for the year. We got a slab that pour over here. I'll show you that later, but um, it is cold. It's winter time, but we are still pouring. Okay, so we are placing the last of the So we got a generator running in the background, so hopefully you're able to hear me okay. So the final slab is poured. And the pump face is way over there. They're already hoarded. But I'll have to let this set up to get hard enough and then I'll have to build a hoarding and put that on there to protect the concrete from the freezing weather. So it is finally done. So one of the things we've done is we try to make a lot of changes that we end up staying together and Debbie comes with me for work. But sometimes when Debbie is away, I end up in a hotel room. So let me just show you what this looks like. I'll just swing the camera around here. So guess what? It is a standard hotel room. Probably the only difference is, yeah, we can sit up here and do a little bit of work and that's not too bad and then we get some items that have to get brought in here so they don't freeze in our freezing temperatures so yeah that is what it is but um man it's a hotel room man yeah that sucks at times but it is what it is i am off to kamloops to go grocery shopping because groceries a little bit are terrifying <laughs> been a really really hard week. Curtis has been in Princeton and Kamloops working and I've been out here and um, originally he was supposed to be here with me helping um, with Lottie and getting the kids all settled. However, uh, his job got delayed and so he's not here yet. He won't be here till the end of November which has been really hard because as we've said previously it used to be that we often were 20 plus days apart. And now I'm so used to being with him all the time. Just going over a cattle guard. I'm so used to being with him that um, I've been really sad to be away from him. And I mean, I guess that's good, but it's been hard and uh, I don't like it. I don't like this feeling of um, lostness without my husband. And I mean, I guess that's good in the sense that I obviously got very used to being away from Curtis for so many years, and now I've obviously got very used to being with him. And um, I'm so looking forward to when he's here. He came for four hours on Saturday, and that's all. Um, and we had run around to do uh, for trailer stuff, things like filling up our water and going and getting more propane, and so that was kind of yucky. But today, I'm off to Kamloops and I get to do a little bit of shopping for myself and my trusty dogs. There's Luna and there's Huxley. Uh, they're with me for a drive. They've been going a little bit crazy. They've spent a little bit too much time by themselves in the trailer, even though we've been going for walks every day. Uh, so yeah, it's a good day. It's a beautiful sunshiny day. It's supposed to be a high of 11 and it's the perfect day to go. Looking forward to it. Probably doesn't look like much of a hill, but that is steep. Whew. I'm just a huffing and puffing. It feels nice to exercise though. It's kind of hard not to enjoy such beauty. So this is from the bottom. And we went all the way up there. That is a very, very steep climb. I don't think the video really picks it up, but that's a good walk. If I do that every day that I'm here with my daughter, I'll be skinny mini by the end of the time. <laughs> 